Good evening, Team Meadows. Um, I thought I would just drop a little message to say hi, uh, but also just to talk a little bit about Friday, what happened and what we're going to be doing moving forward. So on Friday, we had our own school emergency. Now, interestingly, over the last few weeks, you have been doing lots of emergency drills. So you've practiced the fire drill and you've practiced our lockdown drill. And even the year three fours on Thursday practiced an earthquake drill as part of their topic, a force to be reckoned with. But on Friday, we experienced a flood and the water levels around the school rose to such a point that unfortunately the water started to come into our classrooms. I know for many of you that was a really strange thing that happened because you were asked to pack up your things and leave your classrooms so that we could lift all of the resources, the toys, your work, our furniture up onto a higher level to make sure that the water didn't damage it. You were then moved into the hall and unfortunately you saw the water start to come through the hall and that was a little bit worrying for many of you um, and a little bit sad for many of you too because it was an unusual experience um, which wasn't very pleasant. It's okay to feel sad and it's okay to be upset about what happened. The really important thing is that you were all brilliant and so were our staff and your parents because the main thing in any emergency is making sure that you are safe and you were all safe. As for the building, that's very sad. Our building is very, very wet now, but it will dry and we will put plans in place to make sure that it gets back to the meadows that we know probably even better than before because we will need to take out all the carpets and we will need to put new things in place. So there is always a silver lining. Because of course what we say is that Duffield Meadows, our school, is more than just a building. It's about you and our school staff and our parents, our wider community. That is what makes our school so special and that is why not everything has been lost. So we will build back uh, and we will be stronger for it and we will all be learning together as soon as possible. Next week is going to look a little bit different and we're going to be asking you to stay at home and to do some remote learning where it is appropriate for your families to do so. And I'm going to send a letter to your parents with this video so that they know what the bigger plan is. What I'm going to ask of you is what I would always ask of you, to be the best versions of yourself. Your mums and dads have got an even trickier job now because they have got to make different arrangements. They've got to make sure that they now juggle you at home when you should be in school and their jobs and all the other things that they will have had planned for this week. So it's going to be really tough on your mums and dads and I need you to play your part in helping out. And that will look different for every family. So listen to your mums and dads. Please be the best versions of yourself. Do whatever they ask the first time, not the second time, and definitely not the third time. So be good and do the absolute best that you can. I know that you've probably all got lots and lots of questions that you want to ask. Um, and you will have an opportunity to do that because some of the sessions next week on the remote learning, you will be able to see some of our teachers. Now, not all of them, because our year sixes tomorrow are going on residential and lots of our school staff are going away with them to support that uh, opportunity.
to our year sixes, you are going to have the absolute best time. For me, your year six residential is something that will remain with you for the rest of your life. You will talk about it in years to come and you will look back at the wonderful, wonderful experience uh, that you took part in. I am, of course, very jealous because I pride myself in always attending uh, the residentials. I absolutely love seeing you flourish on residential. I am disappointed not to be going, but I've got some really, really important decisions um, and meetings to have at school. You'll have a great time. And I know your teachers are going to keep me posted um, with all the great things that you are doing. And I will look forward for you filling me in on everything on your return. I will be there to wave you off tomorrow morning. I will be there to welcome you back on Wednesday. But just for now, have the absolute best time. To all of you, um, Meadows is one of the most special places I have ever known. It means so much to me, to the school staff, and I know to you and your families. And because of that, we can all be really positive about what's to come. Because in times of need and when things don't go according to plan, that's when you see the real strength. And I know that you are all going to be absolutely fantastic. And I will keep you update, updated as the week goes on. This will not be my last video message. I need to get back used to doing them. Um, and we will keep in touch. But for now, good night. Get a good night's sleep. And you will see some of our school staff tomorrow on the remote learning. Take care, everyone. Lots of love, Mrs NL and Team Meadows.